Hello everybody, it's 99 here, aka Tim, with another Smart Pixels tutorial. Now I know I've had some, like some, I know a lot of you have liked the last one, but would like it a little bit more in depth with all the features and stuff. Actually I forgot to set up my uh, area, so I know that I have one request about showing cuts, and I think I forgot a couple other features which I should have added. So this is um, a video I just posted, now when you're done posting your video, done exporting it click the delete and please stop recording material okay, so I cannot delete it but that's what you do click it you can delete it you can favorite it and then it will go to projects and stuff these are all a bunch of stuff that I need to delete still yeah <laughs> but yeah now with cuts and stuff I'm gonna use I have episode 100 I recorded this like three months ago I have the opener for it so the marking point to make cuts and stuff, that's what it uses, the marking point. Let this load in a bit. Come on, load, there we go. So I like it out, out like this, um, to make it record everything. So, alright, there's the marking point. Which means, I think this is, is this the Hunger Games one? Check one, check two. When I punch, I will say check all right. three. Alright, wait, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, that's not what it was. That was just a little bit of a test there. Now let's check the preview. See if it's the Hunger Games. Let's just see. If that's not the whole Hunger Games. Let's just make sure. What? No. Right, this is just before I joined the round. So if that's the Hunger Games right there, I just need to scroll, get the whole thing, so that I have the whole entire Hunger Games being shown. There's that. Check three. Let's jump. Check four. Why am I going all that? Why Why did I go so high up? I went to check four. Alright. So this is the Hunger Games. Now of course none of this is going to be saved. But let's say I want to make a cut. Add a new section. And then this will be what's recorded. So it'll show those first seconds. And then you can maybe add a marking point where it, you make the cut. So it'll end here since I have it like that, but and it, then it would jump to here. Now, if, let's say, I want to get rid of this, like, wait, no, I don't want to do that. Click on the first one, delete section, and it's gone. You can all, you always need at least one section, so like that, I can't delete. A project must contain at least one section, as it says. So if I scroll over, scroll over, and it's like, wait, no, this part, there was a bunch of crap in there, so I'm just going to add a new section. And what I do with this, for like UHCs and stuff, is have it come and meet exactly where it was. And I know that's where I want it. So I like scroll that the whole way over, and that's where I want to make the cut. So there's that, and then scroll that, and that's the cut area. Everything in here will not be shown. So none of that's going to be shown in there. It'll come, it'll be going, hit that area, and then jump right to there. Skip all that. Very simple to do. And let's say it's like, okay, wait, maybe I can keep that. Maybe I just want to add some music there. Well, I already have some imported. So, let's just do, can't hold us, why not? Alright, so, you can preview it. Or you can just add it right in with using that. If you if you want to delete it, just click that, obviously. But all right, and then you can be like, okay, so this is the beginning of my project. That's where it's gonna end. That's perfect. Now, what if you just want the whole song just to be pure music? And then you can go over here. And add it in. Sometimes it does this little crap thing. Yeah, it's doing that crap thing again to me. <laughs> Why you do this music? Why you do this? Why you do this? Oh, the song's not, it's not long enough. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. But then when you go to preview, instead of the normal audio, 
you can actually hear the music. Now that right there, I don't have this exported right now. So, and then it's just like, wait, no, no, I just screwed up big time. I don't want that music. Those cuts I made, I didn't want to cut that part out. I want to restart. Click the X, and then we'll say remove this. Yes. Back to screen, and just drag it right back in. Click yes, and we're back at square one again, where we can just redo everything we want. So it's perfect. Now I already export. What do, let's see something that would be quick to export. Hmm. Let's just export in the intro, an intro I used to use. It's a little laggy. It's just it has a bunch of PvP scenes of me just winning fights and stuff. So then you click export. Browse. Alright now. Where is it? So we can just put it here and just do this. Smart pixel. EX for example. Save it. Now it's ready. Have it all set up. Just click OK. And then it starts since it's just gonna go quick. It's a freaking 30 second video. Look, done. And then when you're over here, you can go and import it by clicking to post your video, add more videos, and then you can select any of your videos. Where is it? Uh, videos right there. And you can go sele select it right there. Easy peasy. Now for this, return to the editing. Just customize that. You can customize the message. If you're scheduling it, you can schedule it for any day you would win. I'm just going to save that there. You can customize the thumbnail. Which, wait, why didn't it not save? Why didn't it save? Okay. Open. And it's saving. Upload the Egg Wars thumbnail. Try again. Try again. Egg Wars. Don't tell me I have to redo this whole thumbnail. There we go. Save the changes, <laughs> and then you can also add in custom things here. Egg, like I have my default things. Egg wars, cube. Okay, that's like server. Save the changes. I have a new notification. I'll read that later. And then back over here, you got this done, so you can remove it. It's already exported and posting, so you don't need you don't need it anymore. So you can just go and delete it. Boom, easy as that. And that's pretty much what this is. Now with the upload, I haven't really tested with that much. It's kind of a new feature. Yeah, I think it is, right? It's a new feature, or is it just now? Yeah, I think it's just that now you can upload straight to YouTube and stuff. Yeah, I think that's what it is, but you need a bunch of crap like that, so. Now, if you're using a song, I tend to be a little lazy with this, which I shouldn't. Just go copy and paste the description into your video. I'm not, I, I'm pretty lazy with that. I need to start picking up my game because honestly, what's it going to hurt? It's 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds. So it's not going to hurt anything at all. Just copy and paste. Make sure to do that because most songwriters, big songwriters, don't care if you use their music because it's like, what's it going to hurt? People are going to do it anyway. So they don't really care, but may as well just do it just in case. Now you can also click on editor and choose to either go face cam and it will start face camming or your recorder which if I click recorder you cannot switch mode during recording because I am already recording look at this it's recording as I speak once again the settings you can just change this to whatever is most comfortable for you it's all up to you guys if it's more comfortable for you use what's comfortable it's just it's customizable for a reason guys so make sure to customize it whatever you want you can change mic and if you want it to be enhanced, which you can just, no, I don't, I don't have that. I have the no watermark. Now for this, I should probably have had my mouse cursor in, just because of it being this. But I don't really do anything with mouse cursor. That kind of became a little bit of an issue back when I was first started, and I didn't understand about that kind of crap. I just wasn't doing it. Just kept it how it was. I have an F8. My F12 used to be my stop and save, but it got a little glitchy, and it wouldn't stop. It would stop it like. 25% of the time, like whenever it feels. You got the general, 
got profile, which I'm not going to click on it, but it tells you how many days left and your activation code. And you can set up all this stuff. This is my default. Ultra, that's as high that goes 30 frames. I like it to be higher because the videos are kind of laggy. Brightness, I put it up at bright to try and keep caves bright, but that didn't work. That's uh, just makes it look uh, scary. <laughs> yeah, it kind of uh, screws around with the brightness, and I don't like that. But if this did help at all, I will try and answer your questions. So make sure to comment down below any questions you guys may have, because I will try my best to get back to you with an answer. There are some things that are just glitches with Smart Pixel that I don't know the answer to, such as I saw one comment about like a text box appearing in Japanese. That happened to me too. It usually just fixes itself. I had about five times, 15 to 20 minutes where I could not, just not do anything. But it usually fixes itself. You can add effects with Smart Pixel. Add different audio with trumpets, gunshots, all this kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. Music, you can customize it. You can customize with your video. And if you just want to save it, you got it like right here. I never saved it before deleting it. So I'll put it in my project inbox. I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like down below. And make sure to comment if you want more tutorials. Because I might be able to post tutorial Tuesday. Tutorial Thursday. Have it every Tuesday, Thursday. Have a new tutorial come out. Or just have it once a week. It's up to you guys. Make sure to let me know but down below what you'd like to see as a new tutorial. And how often you would like to see it. And I'll try my best to keep that coming out as often as you guys like it. Make sure to tell everybody else that your friends that have trouble with this to come check out this tutorial if it helped you. So, I will see you all in the next tutorial. Peace out, guys.